What's up guys, today I'm going to be taking you through a revised version of my Woodland Sniper Airsoft loadout. So some of you guys may remember that I did this loadout already a couple of weeks back. I'm doing this video again just to update a couple of new features, but I guess we'll start from the feet up and go from there. On my feet I'm wearing just some ankle support hiking boots, and then these pants are just Woodland BDU camo. In the drop leg holster we have a TSD CO2 1911. I have one clip in the gun that holds 15 rounds as well as a second one in this pistol mag pouch. In this gun I'm going to be using primarily 0.20 gram BBs. I should also mention that this gun shoots around 370 FPS. Coming up to my top I have just again Woodland BDU camo and underneath this just a black t-shirt. Around my neck is a schmog. Moving on to my primary gun this is the UTG Master Sniper M324S. The first thing you'll notice is it's got a bunch of camo fabric on it and this is kind of a custom job I did on my own. If you want to see how I did it I'll link you to a video both with an annotation and in the description if you want to go check it out. Also on the rifle sling itself, you see there's these pistol mag pouches and I'm putting the rifle clips in those. This just decreases the amount of stuff I have to actually carry on my body. I also made a video for that, so that'll be in the description as well as an annotation around here too. Moving on to the gun itself, it shoots around 400 FPS. On the top you'll notice I have mounted a 4x32 UTG Leaper scope. There's a bolt action sniper rifle. I have four clips for this gun. There's one in the gun itself, uh, one in either of the pistol mag pouches that's on the sling, and there's one more in one of my pockets. So that covers most of my body. Let's move on to some of my headgear. I took it off for the purpose of this video just for audio quality, but this is a mesh face mask. And the reason I use this as opposed to goggles or a baseball paint mask is, one, this is a little bit more flexible than a paintball mask, so you can kind of lean up against the butt of the stock and look down the scope still. And it offers a little bit more face protection than just straight goggles. Oftentimes when you're laying down prone, all that the enemy can see of you if you're facing them is your face, so it kind of sucks to get shot in the face, so it's nice to have some protection. And on my head now, I'll be wearing a boonie cap. This and the CO2 pistol are the two new additions to this loadout. If you remember in the last one, I wore the schmog around my head like a head wrap and then had the face mask underneath it. But I feel that this works as a better alternative since it's not quite so hot in summer. I think that is about everything I need to mention for the loadout update. I'll put all the gear back on so I can show you one last time what it looks like when I'm all dressed up. Well guys, I think that's just about going to do it for this loadout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.